Hey guys, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab, and uh, today we'll be looking at the Mars Silver cap pack that we just released with ML Sound Lab. And um, this cap pack is actually based on a Marshall Silver Jubilee cabinet that's from 1987. So, if you don't know the history, the Vintage 30 speaker was released in '86. So this cabinet being from 87 means that these are some of the first Vintage 30 speakers and they're actually labeled Marshall Vintage. So um, let's take a look at what we can do with the Helix this time. Cheers dudes. Okay here we are in HX Edit and what I have going on is just the amp block and the IR once again and I'm using one um, IR mix from the Mars Silver cap pack so what it sounds like is what you heard already but I'll play a little bit more so so it definitely has that you know British type of crunch thing going on and you can play some of the <laughs> more common riffs that you'll associate with this brand like and um, it sounds pretty damn authentic I have to say myself um, let me show you what to actually get when you get the cap pack. So uh, you'll, you'll be getting impulse responses. Here in HX edits you'll find this tab called impulses and this is where you'll find your impulse responses and you know uh, there are 128 slots here in the Helix LT. Um, I'm already filled up pretty good with these two packs but um, let me just show you how you do it. So you can drag and drop from the folder uh, depending on your um, OS uh, but I'm just gonna import it from here so if I click import you'll get to this folder um, that I've already searched beforehand but these are the IRs and um, it's actually uh, this type of a folder that you see when you get the cap pack so um, what you need to do with Helix is to go to the Helix folder and uh, just choose all these IRs and load them up sorry this isn't Finnish uh, but uh, you know you probably understand what is going on here the MPT folder is for if you want to mix these IRs with some other IRs they are usually time aligned with uh, minimum phase transform which actually removes all the phase information from the impulse responses so uh, the raw regular format that we use here is time aligned with each other perfectly but it's not um, it's not going to be time aligned with some MPT IRs. So uh, if you use just MO Sound Lab IRs, I highly recommend just using the regular format here and they will work amazingly together. But if you want to use some other IRs, then maybe it's safer to just use the MPT format. Okay, so um, what you do is you choose some IRs, maybe all of them, and then you just press load or open. Not sure what it'll be in English, but you know. Um, yeah, it's gonna override some of these IRs. So now what it's doing, it's importing these impulses and since I didn't have enough slots, it's not actually loading all of them here. But you know, you get the idea. This is how you just load. It's, it's pretty easy to load these impulse responses in your Helix. And after this, it's just as simple as uh, choosing the IR block and format. The uh, 2 48 is the better uh, quality format so that's why I use that one and now that we are here uh, let's go through the tonal variety that you get from this pack so uh, uh, I already have them loaded here um, the mega OS is the first cap pack that we released for helix uh, that's compatible with helix I mean uh, so um, if you want a quick comparison I'll just uh, maybe use the 57 and the mega OS sounds like this So it's more scooped more modern um, Anything you you everything you'd expect I suppose while the Brit silver is
it's more of that mid-range thing where you cut through and it's more of that, more of that warm British sound. Uh, although both are essentially the same specification, vintage 30 speaker sound completely different here. Um, okay, so um, what we have here is a 57 and you have five brightness variations for each microphone. So um, this is the darkest 57 position we have here. <laughs> And then you can make it brighter, so... And the E position is the brightest position that I have for all these microphones. And, you know, throughout all this variation of brightness, this is all still highly usable. It's not going to that brightness area where it stings in your ear, and it's not going to that darkness area where you don't really cut through in a mix. So it's all kind of a safe area where to work from. Um, other microphone options we have, obviously uh, one to one which is a really dark microphone. So uh, this is usually what I use for blending uh, with the 57 to get more of a fat sound. But, you know, this is it on its own. Sounds actually pretty damn good on its own as well. Uh, the 160 is also another ribbon. It's kind of a brighter ribbon sound. So it's uh, similar to the 121, but uh, it's almost like somewhere in between a dynamic microphone and a ribbon, for me at least. <laughs> really vintage sounding and that's actually pretty good for you know some bluesy leads like. <laughs> you know really good for that kind of a bana massa type thing I, I suppose uh, uh, this is a Neumann uh, KM 184 and uh, it's the only condenser microphone that we have and it's it's really good because it's such a small well a small condenser microphone but anyways um, you can capture a small area on the cabinet meaning that you get a lot of variation just based on where you place it a large, di a large diaphragm microphone will you know always sound pretty much the same but you know uh, I like this one a lot more than a uh, large condenser on a, on a speaker cabinet. So. Um, then we have the 421, and this is actually a uh, one of the nicest 421 uh, cap packs that I've been able to get. So uh, usually the 421 is something that I use for bite microphones. Also one of those things where when you're creating a mix, uh, you want to use something to get more cuts if you're getting kind of a dark mix. So uh, that's when I use the 421, but the 421 here is actually pretty good and it's good enough to use on its own. And if you know someone like Bonamassa, uh, he uses the 421 alone. Uh, on his cabinet's live, so maybe there's something to it. What the 421 does, it, it actually adds that 4K bytes to your sound. If you feel like you don't have enough of that, then the 421 is the way to go. Um, then we have the 57 that I already demonstrated. Uh, the 58 is a good, uh, kind of a different sounding dynamic. Uh, many will say that they sound exactly the same, but I don't place them the same way at all. 
uh, but I place them completely differently because they work completely differently. So they do sound completely different here in the cap pack. So. <laughs> Um, you know, I want to have more sure microphones here because they they kind of um, give you that instant sound where just one microphone position without blending will just sound so awesome. And you know, the same goes for the 7B. Um, just listen to this. that's that's an instant good sound and with this pack uh, the 906 turned out to be one of my favorite microphones yeah, just have a listen to this <laughs> very pleasant high-end uh, not, not that much low-end but you know it's really good for that cut in the mix at, that doesn't sting you in the ear so that brings us to the mixes that I have here so if you don't know the people that are synonymous for using the Silver Jubilee then you'll have Slash uh, you'll have John Frusciante I hope I pronounced that one correctly um, so you'll find these mixes are kind of nodding to that direction. Appetite, um, Californication, Don't Stop, sorry, Can't Stop, <laughs> uh, Joe Stop, I've mentioned Bonamassa a couple of times already, uh, then obviously Alex Lifeson, um, you know, Rush. And this is actually messed up, I have the Appetite twice here because of reasons. But uh, Steve Drop, um, a certain person called Steve has a song called Name Dropping. Maybe you know the dude, but you know, these are the people that are known to use these Marshall Silver Jubilees and um, that make this such an iconic part of Marshall. So um, let's just have a listen to what these sound like. Let's start with the appetite. I know you're probably anxious to hear it. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, probably already questioning, like, does it nail that sound? So, um, let's do something that I think will sound pretty awesome. Add a whole delay here. Um, that should be good enough. And, uh, let's see what it sounds like. So yeah, it does that thing, it does it pretty damn good. Um, <laughs> then uh, the next mix, uh, Californication, um, well, obviously, I think I need to change the guitar. Let's do that, just a second. Okay, so I don't actually know how to play Californication. No, but um, let's play the next one.
And obviously when you start using Marshall with strats, it's really easy to get kind of a chimmy type sound. So let's just use the next IR. <laughs> And the next one, uh, Joe stop. Now I have to change the guitar again. So yeah, it does that Joe Bonamassa thing really well. And, um, you know, if you don't know the Marshall Silver Jubilee, just go and watch Joe talk about it, and uh, I'm sure you'll be pretty impressed. Essentially, all of the songs that and rigs he creates is all centered around the Silver Jubilee. The other amplifiers are just kind of a blend amp for the Silver Jubilee, and all his effects are running through the Silver Jubilee, so uh, definitely check that one out. Sawyer. <laughs> And Steve Rob. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty much enough for the demonstrating part. So, um, just wanted to get this message across that I have not post-processed anything here. All that you hear is just the amp lock and the IRs that I'm using here. The amp sim is the 2204. Um, I've set it up pretty interestingly. And um, the reason I'm not showing the settings is because I am working on the amp section of the Jubilee as well. And hopefully if it's good enough, it'll become an amp pack. So uh, at the moment, it seems like it will be good enough. I can get it uh, to match exactly with the real Silver Jubilee. I just have to have the settings pretty weird, you know, in a weird position, but it does sound really good, as you probably noticed here. So um, um, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you go check out this pack and um, I'm always open for recommendations for what kind of packs you want to see. So just shoot me a message and I'll be sure to deliver. Cheers dudes and uh, bye and go rock out.